let's look at uh, BA 2016-10 Barfel. Yes, sir. This is a request by Kelly Barfel to rezone four acres of R10 to community commercial CC. Center property is located on the eastern side of the city uh, along East Park Avenue. It is in the vacant area, uh, a developed area that's between the schools, is what I refer to it. Uh, it is adjacent to JL Newburn Middle School, and it is very close, sort of close to the Centilla Charter Academy, uh, which was, you may recall, was a conditional use case a little while back. It's a little further up. Um, zoning map on the screen indicates where these schools are located. It shows you the zoning pattern. It also shows you the R15 zoning across the street. That is all vacant land. All of this area was once a part of the Brayland property. Uh, maybe thinking on the east side of, or north side of East Park Avenue, uh, had actually a PRD pen zoning. Um, That's when the school purchased the property, they left the zoning alone. However, uh, some of these other tracts of land since then have been rezoned back to an R10. Character area wise, uh, not shown here, but it's in your packet. This is all neighborhood activity center calls for a little higher density, a little higher intensity of uses, but not as high as, say, shopping centers. Um, that being said, R15 and R10 are what we call non-compliant zonings within the neighborhood activity center, which means they no longer belong there because they're not intensive enough. Um, this was a request a few years ago by the same applicant for a church in R10 zoning. Um, and that was approved. This was back in the very end of January 2010. Um, however, the church has not been built. Um, the applicant is looking at doing a little bit more than a church within this building. Um, it's changed to Wintersville Community Center. It is to be a church with some accessory uses that include commercial, um, after school programs, and things of that nature. Um, I handed out um, right before the meeting a larger version of the floor plan. A little bit easier to read, but you can see some of the other uses. Those items exceed the condition of approval that was granted for a church because they are not church related, they are commercial related, and they have commercial zoning, hence the request for CC. Uh, CC is not out of the ordinary completely. You have CC zoning existing on the other side of JL Newburn, most of the commercial zonings that are toward Interpremitor Road and JC Shack. Um, even though you have some residential zonings nearby, the dominant land use pattern in here is institutional type land use for these schools. And also up, up near the Dogwood Circle intersection, you have the back entrance to the new Valdosta High School. So this is very rapidly becoming something other than a residential area, other than a residential corridor. Because this property is somewhat isolated between two existing schools, um, R10 zoning or even single family zoning of a higher nature does not seem practical here. Um, so staff is willing to go along with the CC zoning. It is allowed in the neighborhood activity center um, and it fits in with the land use pattern nearby, which really is called to be a mixture of land uses. <coughs> so with that, staff has found the request consistent with our comprehensive plan, our standards for exercise of zoning power, and we are recommending approval of the CC zoning. And there's your site plan. And then in your packet, you have the floor plan. Be glad to answer any questions you might have. Um, CC is what's going to be needed for the cafe. Just That's in the cafe, the cafe um, and the ex all of those are permitted uses in the CC zone. Uh, we contemplated CN, but CN does not quite cover all of them. Would CN have a conditional in use? In terms of the fitness center, actually, that's the difference. It needs to CC, it would not be allowed in CN. And also, if there were a different land use pattern nearby, in other words, if these schools were not adjacent to the property, mm -hmm. and this was existing or future neighborhood, staff would think differently of the CC. But with the schools being there, and it's limited acreage, sort of with a triangular area nested between, it works in terms of corridor patterns. Thank you. Thank you. 
Any other questions? It is something we scratched our head about. Thank you. Yeah, CC is much. It's a bit broad. It's broad only, it's a little bit more intensive than ideally we would have liked to have seen. Um, but there is CC already here. And in terms of long term growth patterns, I think a little bit of CC in the corridor is a good thing in terms of making a mixture of pieces, maybe creating a little commercial mode right here between the schools on this side of the road. Okay. Any questions for staff? There being none, I will call it. Anyone that wishes to speak in favor of this request to please come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward this time. Take your name and your address for record, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm uh, Kelly Barker. My address is 3926 Pecan, Pecan Drive, Pecan <laughs> South. Uh, and I'm the pastor of Winslow Okay. And I, I guess I'd just like to say that for the past 10 years, we've worked closely with J.L. Newber Middle School. Uh, did a six thousand dollar classroom for them every year in August. We do all the kids backpacks this year. We did five hundred fifty backpacks. We have eleven kids currently that were least likely to succeed, and we pick them kids up every day, take them to tutoring, and they also do an hour of the fitness across it, and we take them to camps and different things like that. And, and then even Centilla last year, the first year of Centilla. Uh, we were in there for after school program, uh, three days a week, an after school program there too. And, and so for us, it's, it, it's what we already do. Uh, we work with them teachers also and students, so I love uh, a great recommendation. Kelly, okay, just, just, I, I see that in, in your renderings here, you're showing uh, tutoring stations. Are you, are you going to offer that? It's, we already do. You uh, already right do. now, we have them in a spot where we're at. Uh, and so yeah, so now it'll just be a nicer spot. So yeah, we, we have 11 kids that will go all year round. They're in seventh and eighth grade, and our goal is to keep those kids and see them graduate, get in college, and hopefully every year uh, from seventh grade we'll add 10 more. So we'll keep this seven, and then we'll add 10 more, and we'll figure out how to keep getting them done. <laughs> Commissioners, do we have any questions for the presenter? <coughs> yeah. I, I have one quick question, Kelly. On, 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 your, we have, on your render, we have is, is, it, is the facade of the building going to be totally brick, or, or is it going to be metal? What's it going to be? No, the front of it. Be the front would be uh, brick, and then the, I think we go ten feet down the sides, and then the be metal on the rear and the, the, the remaining side. I think that's per. per. Code. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so most of it facing the highway is going to be a brick, brick skin. Yeah, actually, I think so. Oh, All facing the highway. Yeah, a combination of brick and and uh, maybe a siding that's allowed in that. You know, maybe kind of more of a craftsman type look with some board and batten and brick along the bottom. Yeah, I, I think it's always good. Got brick coming up thirty six inches. That's right. Any other questions for presenting? Thanks, Kim. Anybody else here wishing to speak in favor to go forward this time? There being none, anybody here wishing to speak against this request, please come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak against this request? There being none. Commissioners, any further discussion from us on this case? There being none, I will take a motion at this time for this case. Thank you very much. I'm going to have my right shoulder replaced. It hurts. Me. 